My name is Jenny Serubin. I am the tax girl. Correction, I am your tax girl. And as an accountant, tax accountant with 15 years of experience, I support entrepreneurs to build their legacies. Yeah. Nice. It's good? Okay. All right, so tax accountant. <laughs> Love it. Okay. No taxes. No taxes. Okay, guys, just for a second. All right. Um, I am inviting you to participate in a social experiment. At the end of this experiment, each and every one of you is going to say the following phrase for yourself when you sit home alone, when you do a business, anytime. So write it down for me. And it goes like this. Numbers are easy. And taxes are fun. <laughs> Numbers are easy and taxes are fun. 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 Okay. Okay, cool. The, the next part, just to make it more interesting for you and for me, I'm going to give you two options. Just pick one. Just pick one, write it down. Okay, are you ready? Yes. A watermelon, a grape. Watermelon. A watermelon, a grape. Don't tell everybody. Just write it down. All right, cool. Done. Hard part is over. All right, so by the way, um, I asked to speak right after lunch because guys, statistically, um, when people are not hungry, they're much nicer to people who talk about taxes. <laughs> also, there is a, a chance that part of you will fall asleep during this presentation, so. All right, so having said that, are you guys ready for the fun? For the fun part, okay. So, <clears throat> do I have any entrepreneurs in the audience? Raise your hand. Okay, great. Do I have any wannabe, an entrepreneur? Wannabe. Okay, one. Okay, 99% and one. Great. So, you, 1%. I'd love to look at these guys. Just watch them. Okay. So, somebody who started business, uh, let's say, a year ago. Raise your hand. Two years ago. Three years ago. Three years ago. Five years ago and more. Beautiful. Okay. When you, and 1%, just watch, please. Okay. When you started your business, did you know there were business rules? No. Okay. You work, work, work three years into your business. Do, did you know that there are business rules? Okay. Right now, do you know there are business rules? No. Well, some of you. Okay. Great. So let's just. Pause for a second, and let's get back to me, the tax girl. Okay, so when I was 14 years old, I lived with my family. I have four sisters back back in Russia, okay? And my distant cousin comes over to us and asks me a question. Hey, when you grow up, Zhenya, who do you want to be? What do you want to do? And I sit there for a second, I was like, you know what? I want to learn the language and I want to live somewhere else. Ten years later, I landed at LAX. Okay, so it's just manifestation and, you know, right here. Okay, so for a few years, blah, blah, blah. One day, I am happy and I got a notice from the IRS. And I was like, so. <laughs> You do remember the feeling when, when you get the notice, like you kind of think you did everything well and nice and correctly, and you got this notice, and I was like, I don't like it. So I asked my husband, like, what is this? And he said, pulp, nah, pulp fiction people. Here he would say something like this, stay cool, honey bunny. <laughs> and I was like, nobody was okay, stay cool. Like, you cannot stay cool when you get a notice from the IRS, right? There is no way you stay cool. So what I did is basically, I'm sure you would have done the same thing if you were me. I went and I got my master's degree in taxation. <laughs> I mean, what would you do? What else would you do, right? <laughs> and I found out there's actually the book with all, with all of the rules that we need. It's right here. Okay, so. <laughs> Well, not just one. There are two books like this, 
And there are six or seven books like this, and they're called Federal Regulations. Okay, this is Internal Revenue Code, Title 26, Income Taxes, like the best book I've ever read in my life. Like, see, like I'm not laughing. And if you knew me, you would also not be laughing, right? <laughs> All right, so let's just play the game. Give me two digits, please. Okay. What else? What else? Any other? Let's guess the one that I want to read to you. <laughs> so. Picture? <laughs> Thank you. Okay. So a lot of you come to tax people and ask this question, right? And this question usually goes like this. Like you have like tick maybe or something like this. And you're like, so I got this cash. Do I have to report it? And we're like pretending not you have, you have the tick. We're like, yeah, you have to. Okay, section, code section number 61. Write it down, please. 61. And it says, actually, I remember what it says. So it says, Before we go anywhere, I forgot to tell you one little thing. So these are rules, and the way is defined as business owners, as individuals. You're supposed to report tax, report your income, pay taxes. And this book actually says, you are required and supposed to pay the amount of tax that you owe, and not a penny more. Can, can you feel it, right? Who determines how much tax you're supposed to pay? You, based on what? Based on this. So to answer your question, do I have to report that income in cash? It literally, this section says, you are supposed to report all income received worldwide. If you are in Puerto Rico, it's US territory. If you are in Russia, if you are in anywhere, as a US citizen or resident, you must report all your income. Did I answer your question? Yes. Don't ask that, because it's just like, I'm not sure you why, okay? So any other fun sections you would like to read? Because <laughs> I'm right here for you guys. 20, how many minutes do I have left? It doesn't matter, okay, so. Um, <laughs> having said that, having said that, um, my dad always taught us, if you want to explain something complex, try to explain something super, super easy. So this is Ooh um board please. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you. Buckets. So um John Maxwell, if you guys know that, he said, facing difficulties is inevitable, but learning from them is optional. So I'm just gonna scratch it and I'm gonna say, dealing with taxes and paying taxes is inevitable, but learning from them, about them, is optional. You are part of social experiments, so it's not optional for you guys today, so, okay. <laughs> All right, you start your own business. You open bank account. You start producing, providing services, right? Okay, so just to make it super, super simple, you have checking account, right? You open checking account, okay. So it's gonna be your bucket. And write it down, it's, it's fun. Just... <laughs> so it's a bucket. So this bucket is your checking account. You go, you provide services, right? And you make, let's just say, how much money do we wanna make? $10,000 good, yeah. right? Okay. So you put that money into your bank account. So it's $10,000. Happy. Then what happens? You must pay to your vendors. I mean, I got lucky. <laughs> the board services was free for me, like, right? So whatever I'm getting is mine. However, there is rent, there is advertisement, there is tax people, there is accounting, doesn't matter. So out of 10K, you usually pay like what, what, eight, okay? So you just pay $8,000, so your bank account goes to whatever math it is, 
probably would be like here, 2K, right? Are you with me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, fun part starts for me right now. Uh, profit and loss statements? Yeah, good, okay. Anybody understands what it may, this means? How it works, profit and loss? Also known as income stated? Yes, no? Okay, cool. So, p &L. So on p &L, this bucket thing would look like this. It's gonna be income, 10K. Then you pay expenses for like, oops. Well, let's say, okay. So you're, you're down to net income of two, okay? You're paying tax on this, okay? So you have $2,000 in your bank account. You have $2,000 as net income. You pay tax on this, right? 30, 40%. Cool. Okay, so the fun starts when you guys decide like, oh, you know what? I need to be, to be paid too, right? And during the year, what do you guys do? You just, just I'm gonna have the draw. And you just draw this money and there is nothing in your bank account, right? <coughs> you come to me and, and, and you're like, okay, this is my PL. And I, I was like, okay, great, you're gonna pay tax on $2,000. But she's like, but I don't have money in, your, in my bank account. Because you already took money. So the best way to do that, this is where your money is. So on the balance sheet, you have bank account. You don't have zero. You have this like liability plus owner's equity, and you have draw, but you have 2,000, and then uh, retain earnings, so net income is gonna be minus, so it's zero, you're in balance. Do you get this? No. no. Okay, cool. <laughs> I thought you would get this, but you don't. Okay, let me take you a little bit better. So, I thought you would get this, so my next step would be like, <laughs> okay, but stay with me. Okay, so imagine you make $2 million right here, okay? You pay somebody $8 million. How many first time? Let's say 10 million, 8 million to somebody you ended up with 2 million in your bucket. You took that, if you don't take that much money to your spade or yourself because your draw never jumps here, right? You will always take money. So I advise you, you get this $2,000 from your bucket, you put 30% in a savings account, keep it there. So you always have money to pay taxes. And next step, now you get it? Yes. Yeah. Okay, great. So now that we have passed this hard time even for me, let's have something, something that easy. Let's have some ice cream. Ice cream, ice cream, okay. Ooh, tough crowd, okay. <laughs> and, and I want you to draw that too, by the way. Okay, so ice cream. Because we just had lunch, we want to have dessert. Okay, imagine this ice cream, and we're gonna put scoops of ice cream into this bowl of ice cream, okay? There will be different types of scoops, right? So when you grow up, you get, your tooth falls out. You get tooth fairy money, right? Okay, so that's one. Then you go and find a job and you become an employee, right? Okay, so, and there is W2. And then you create sole proprietorship business and you get the draw, okay? So it's right here. And then whatever types of income. Different, different scoops of ice cream inside, right? Okay, anybody has kids? Beautiful, tomorrow get some ice cream. <laughs> like I'm serious. Lots of, it. Lots of ice cream. So you come and you're gonna try to explain to them what taxes are. And all you need to do is just eat 30% of their ice cream. 30% for tax. Okay, 30%? Okay, cool. And then you're gonna say to them, what are you gonna do now? You eat the rest. <laughs> no, so my kid said, okay, mom, would you like to go to the store with me? And I was like, okay, go, let's go. We come to the store, he takes me to the ice cream, like, you know, Ralph's, right? Tons of ice cream. He says, okay, mom, show me the ice cream that you don't like. 
I was like, why? So we would get it. So you would don't have to take tax out of it. <laughs> See? Okay. Let me make it more interesting for you. You, who puts scoops of ice cream? You do. Do you want to put the ice cream that the IRS loves or not? Okay. Do you want to talk more about taxes now? Yes. <laughs> okay, now that I have you, how much time do you have? Oh my God, that's stressful. <laughs> cool. Are you guys with me? Okay, cool. So, there are different types of taxes. They could be income tax, could be payroll tax, sales tax, property tax, whatever fucking tax, right? Yes. Your job is to find the vehicle that would produce the cash that would be taxed at the lower rate or not taxed at all. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's a big, big picture. But forget about this, I wanna talk about something else. Do you know what happens when you talk about tax and you're like, that's number one. <laughs> Do you know what happens? Yeah. People are smiling, people are like, yes. I'd love to read more IRS code sections, right? I wanna do more. Okay, so you've heard during this two days event and probably next day. So there is something, that the concept, okay? The concept is thoughts create yeah. emotions that produce actions and that we get the result. Okay, so who wants to volunteer to talk about his or her love for taxes right here. What kind of thoughts do you have? Yes, please. I love it when someone else does it for me. See, that is a good attitude. Yeah, who else, have, who else has the true love for taxes? <laughs> <When I'm laughs> yeah. I enjoy not paying taxes. Yeah, okay, so yeah, I love that. Scarcity mode all over the place. I enjoy the re oh, taxes, sorry. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Great, so, all right, all of you want the result, right? Non-taxable or tax-exempt income. And at the moment, what do we have? The thoughts right now that you have, they create the emotions that you don't wanna deal with us, that actions you're hiding from me, don't want to talk to me. And then the result is like, not the legacy, an empire. So my job, I'm on a mission to grow Watermelons. Do you know what watermelon means? Yeah, beautiful watermelon. Watermelon. I want to grow a watermelon because I'm focused on growth. And I will share with the IRS, franchise board, pay the payroll taxes, sales taxes, whatever it takes. I will pay whatever I am supposed to pay and not a penny more based on that book, right? I will live in the abundance when I create my future and I create the abundance for the, you know, the people around me supporting entrepreneurs so you can grow and focus on watermelons, not the grape. What happens with the grape? You're sitting with a tiny grape. I don't want to make money or report money so I don't have to pay taxes. Where are you? I don't, 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 right? I'm scared. So, <coughs> taxes are fun. Whatever you are doing, whatever is like the energy, that's where you bring that, right? I wanna work with you. If you understand, I, want, I will sit with you, Zhenya, and I will look at my financials, and I know you're making sure that I'm growing watermelon, not a grape, right? So stop it, pretending that taxes and financials are not important for you. They are. You are entrepreneurs, right? You started, you gave birth to your babies. Diapers need to be changed. Okay, who is ready to repeat after me? Close your eyes. Numbers are easy. Numbers are easy. And taxes are fun. And taxes are fun. Now say that like you mean it. Numbers are easy and taxes are fun. And that was the fun. 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 
Okay, that code section, by the way, you remember somebody was, was saying like, AI will come and replace you. Nobody can replace this, let's be honest, right? So. <laughs> So that internal revenue code is nearly 4 million words long. We need an AI to kind of put them together. There are loopholes and disconnected ends that people who know, know, and they're using that. You could be one of them. You could generate income for now, pay tax. Use that income, put in the, the vehicles that produce passive tax-exempt income. <laughs> and create that, why don't, we just fo Oops. why don't we just focus on results? What do you want here? Let's manifest that. I want $10,000 non-taxable income every month. You, do you want that? Yeah, right? Okay, how can I do it? Financial planners come in and they're like, do this, 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 boom, done. Because tax is easy. This mindset is that's why leadership and all these programs are so valuable for you guys. Love you. Love, you. Love taxes. Love you. Thank you.